president of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin, and the chairman of People's Republic of China are signing the joint statement of the Russian Federation and China on deepening the uh, overall relations between the two countries. And the joint statement of the president of the Russian Federation and the chairman of the uh, People's Republic of China on on uh, uh, mutual cooperation up to 2030. As part of the visit of the chairman of People's Republic of China, a number of uh, intergovernmental and uh, international uh, agreements have been signed between Russia and China. The ceremony is over and we are starting the press statement of the Russian President Vladimir Putin and the Chairman of uh, People's Republic of China, Xi Jinping. Dear uh, Chairman Xi Jinping, dear ladies and gentlemen, Dear friends, we are sincerely glad to have this opportunity to welcome our friend, Chairman of uh, People's Republic of China, Xi Jinping. All our negotiations yesterday and today, one-to-one -one and in, uh, um, in extended circles, have been very successful and they were conducted in very friendly uh, manner. We have uh, signed two program statements, and they reflect, fully reflect the nature of Russia-China relations, which are at the highest point, uh, taking the whole history of our two countries, and they they uh, encompass our comprehensive relationships. Russia and China are tied together through through our good neighborly relations. We are supporting active dialogue and we are in constant contact with the chairman of China. We are meeting on, uh, at international events and we regularly speak through video conferencing and in, in phone conversations. And this allows us to find, even in most complex situations, solutions to the problems, and we are able to discuss all current issues, uh, international um, issues. And of course, our priority is trade and economy. And that's quite natural, taking into account that China is the leading trade partner of our country. Our states are keeping a high dynamics of international trade which grew by 30% last year. And we have established a new record of $180 billion. In this current year, we are going to exceed 200 billion uh, trade volume. And we are focusing on key areas of development of 2023. And we have uh, established an objective to increase our volume of cooperation in eight strategic areas, industrial, financial, logistics, and transportation. The government of Russia and China, business circles of the two countries, have to immediately start working on practical implementation of uh, measures that will be mutually 
beneficial. Trade and investment cooperation is an important area and as part of it there will be increased uh, uh, mutual settlements in our national currencies. We have reached 65% of trade volume with settlements in uh, our local currencies and this will allow us to secure international trade from influences of third countries and reduce our exposure to currency market. We have uh, discussed our cooperation in the field of energy and we have very positive dynamics. China is the leader in importing the Russian oil and we are going to increase the supply of oil for the needs of Chinese economy. As for the prospects of a Russian-Chinese cooperation in the gas area, uh, Russia has increased uh, the volume of supply of gas by 1.5 times since uh, 2010 and Gazprom has been very accommodating to the requests of our Chinese uh, uh, colleagues and uh, even exceeded the volumes, contract volumes of supply and built another pipeline, gas pipeline that will be connecting Russia and China and we talked uh, with our partners, we have achieved all necessary agreements and this will ensure 50 billion cubic meters of gas, of stable supply of gas to China. We also discussed the supply of uh, liquidified natural gas to China and uh, in the nearest future these supplies will increase. We talked about peaceful nuclear industry Russia is building a nuclear power plant in China and we are working on s Block 7 and 8 in uh, uh, one of the power stations and also uh, building new blocks for the second power stations. The cooperation w will be uh, will be ensured uh, through the long-term program that was signed by the Chinese Nuclear Authority. We are also working on uh, bilateral industrial cooperation. Automati uh, car manufacturers from China are increasing their presence in China, in Russia, and uh, uh, we are increasing our cooperation in biotechnology, pharmaceuticals, and other areas. Strategic direction of Chinese-Russian cooperation includes. Uh, agriculture. We are growing significantly in terms of volume of supplies of uh, food products and we are also looking at opportunities to export significant volumes of uh, grain and meat to China. We are developing international logistic corridors and we want to use the potential of uh, Trans-Siberian Railway uh, to the maximum and also we want to use the potential of the northern uh, sea route and uh, Trans-Asian um, highways, motorways and we would like to increase the efficiency of uh, transportation and cargo flows. We are increasing the capacity of our border crossings and we are increasing the infrastructure on our borders. Uh, last year, uh, two uh, border crossings, a railway crossing and a, a, a motorway crossing were commissioned between Russia and China. And we are also increasing our humanitarian cooperation. After the COVID uh, restrictions have been lifted, we're coming back to our previous intense levels of uh, cultural and tourist exchanges and this will deepen our connection and friendship, mutual understanding and uh, 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 friendship between our two countries. I would like to remind you that 2022-2023 were announced to be the years of uh, cooperation in uh, physical education and sports. We are, we are 
involving uh, 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 we are involving uh, youth in in this uh, relationship, and we are expecting the sp uh, athletes from China next year in Kazan. Uh, who will be participating in the uh, competitions in that area. Uh, uh, these competitions will include also digital uh, elements. This is a great initiative that can be promoted together with our Chinese friends. And we've proposed to them to, to become the hosts of second such games in their own country. We discussed a number of international and regional project um, prog uh, problems. We talked about the fact that our uh, viewpoints on certain areas uh, um, are aligned. We discussed certain problematic areas, and we see that um, increased application of illegitimate restrictions that are being applied and uh, illegitimate means of uh, competition that, that is used by certain countries. And we would like to promote uh, free access to, to uh, education and um, technologies. And in this regard, China and Russia are against other countries restricting restricting activities of uh, um, of, of their partners uh, which gives them uh, advantage we believe that many points of the chinese peace plan correlate to to the point of view of uh, the russian federation and many of these points can be adopted in the west and in kiev we believe that However, we, we do not see the readiness from their side for this. Moreover, just now I was told that while we were discussing with the chairman the opportunities for implementing the Chinese peace plan, the chairman spent a lot of time uh, and, and put a lot of attention on uh, these peace initiatives during our conversations, it became clear today, it became known that the United Kingdom, um, using the Deputy Minister of Defense, announced, of the, uh, announced their supply, not just of the tanks, but also depleted uranium uh, uh, ammunition. They are trying to fight the, this conflict, not just using the, uh, not just in theory using the last Ukrainian, but uh, in actual practice, and we will have to react to this. Collective West is is uh, now starting to use the weapons with uh, uh, nuclear elements. We'd like to emphasize that. Uh, China and Russia are conducting independent regional policy. We are in favor of uh, uh, multipolar development, and this uh, has to have at its core uh, United Nations, and we believe that it is important to continue to support the cooperation within Shanghai Cooperation Organization, and we have to work within the group of 20 and using other platform, international platforms. And of course, we have to continue our efforts on uh, integration processes in Yevrazes. And we would like to form in the future a uh, great Eurasian partnership. I would like to thank uh, Xi Jinping and all our Chinese friends for our productive cooperation and I'm confident that the agreements that have been achieved during this visit will uh, be the basis for future uh, growth and uh, development of our countries and of our people. Thank you for your attention.
壮大构建多级世界格局、完善全球治理体系的建设性力量，在维护全球粮食安全、能源安全、产业链供应链稳定方面做出更多贡献。合力推动构建人类命运共同体。上个月，中方发表了关于政治解决乌克兰危机的中国立场文件。我想强调，在乌克兰危机问题上，中方一贯遵循。联合国宪章宗旨和原则，秉持客观公正立场，积极劝和促谈，按照事情本身的是非曲折，决定自身立场，始终坚定站在和平一边。站在对话一边，站在历史正确一边，我期待继续通过各种方式同普京总统保持密切沟通，共同引领中俄关系行稳致远。谢谢大家。